speaker immigrated to the USA with very humble day, and it was from these beginnings that she became determined to make a difference. Educated, worked in corporate America Fortune 500 companies. 20 plus years ago, she decided to become an entrepreneur and your sacrifices that you have made along the way. And now I'd love to welcome our founder of USGS and our incredible leader, Kim Builders, uh, new professionals uh, uh, that are joining our network uh, to help uh, them learn how to build this global business in truly uh, in a new paradigm. And so uh, let's get started. Um, and uh, let me load the PowerPoint. Are we good? All right. Okay. So um, let, let's get started. And today, the topic uh, will be building a uh, the building block of success. Uh, to me, is really the very core, um, the basic the 101. You know, the the, the uh, uh, I would say the sustainable business uh, 101. Um, uh, so what we'll try to accomplish the next 30 minutes to 45 minutes is to share with you how we did what we did in the last uh, almost seven years with this opportunity and how we are really creating a global entrepreneurial movement uh, around the world. And so, uh, you know, a lot of people say this because, you know, it, just like any uh, the, 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 the core, the lifeline of any business are building a loyal customer uh, loyal client base, customer base. And so how do we go about, because see, in order for us, all of us on this call to build a sustainable business, uh, we got to go back to the very basic and, and which is the core foundation of any business is having a loyal customer base. And so how do we effectively uh, expand our customer base and, and expand our business? Like any other business in any traditional realm, um, the foundation of any business is a loyal customers. So how do we go about doing that? And so, you know, there are basically two um, common ways of driving a, a, a customer base. Number one is through word of mouth. Now, in the particular business model we're in, the first way is word of mouth. You go out there and share about this amazing product and technology product line that we have. So the first method is word of mouth. Now, the second way to do it is expanding your business through a network, a sales network um, of people that instead of you doing all by yourself, that you got a team of people doing the same thing. And so with that, let's get started. Now, the first way is word of mouth, meaning just you, okay? You yourself doing it. So it's really leveraging your based on your own efforts, the things that you do. I, I don't know about you, uh, you know, now don't get me wrong. It is very important. The, 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 the ultimate importance is having a, a loyal, retail customer base. So it is very important to have a lot of customers. So first way is you go out there and you share, you tell people about the, the your experience and the results that you have with this product line. And so, and, and a lot of us, when we first started the business, that's what we all did. We got excited and we go out there and we tell all our friends and family uh, about the results that we're getting and how you can engage in building your customer base in the beginning is, is through your own experience. And that's what makes this platform so unique. You know, when you use a product, your, your people, your friends will notice, wow, you know, you know, you look healthier, you, you, you sound more vibrant, and you still look more beautiful. And so through the passion that you, you get from your own results, that's one of the ways that you could go out there and acquire and build your customer base. Now, but that's just based on your own effort. Like any business, you know, all the business out there in, in today's world, and the whole gig was to go out and acquire more customer, to expand your customer base. And so how we do that is number way, number two way is having a marketing arm of a network, building a sales network of other people instead of you yourself, uh, you know, leveraging and making money your, based on your own efforts. But now you have the opportunity to, to, if you want to participate, you have the opportunity to participate in the marketing arm of it and, and teaching other, building a team of professionals to go out there and build a retail, retail sales, retail customers. And so, and, and, and by doing that, we get rewarded for doing that. And so that is, the, in essence, a nutshell of what our topic will be today. Because, you know, as people, I noticed last seven years, as people get involved in, in, in this business platform, they get so, like, it, it, the, the process of doing that is a little, of little, maybe a little bubble of confusion. And so what we're trying to do today is to help 
demystify that process. So if you look at it, you know, in a, in a nutshell of what it is, is that one, we can either acquire the customers ourselves, go out there and, 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 and you know, make retail sales ourselves. Or for those of you that want to say, you know what, how do I make my business grow faster? Just like any, you know, we walk down the street, you know, to a health food store or to any businesses. You want to expand your customer base. How do you do that? Well, you need to expand your distribution network. And so the other, the second way you could do is that's where the marketing arm comes in, is that you can learn to expand your sales network. And so let's talk about uh, how do we go about doing that? And so the second way, the, 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 the first way is very simple. You use a product, you tried it, you get your, if you're, when you love the results, You'll be passionate to share with other people, whether there's money involved or not. And so that's how I feel the product. Whether there's money involved or not uh, with this line of amazing Jeunesse products, I love to share with other people because the results we're getting from our beautiful skin. <laughs> All right. Now, so um, so the second way, obviously, is what this call's about because um, all of you that are on this phone call are already distributors. And so you all wanted a training on how to really build your business. So when we learn how to demystify this whole process and having a clear, clear understanding of what it is, then, then we don't get too confused and, and just save a, us a whole lot of time. So second way is about having a marketing arm. Because just like any traditional business, you have a marketing arm to build a sales force where you get an opportunity to leverage the efforts of other people, okay? And so by leveraging today's technology, I mean, like right now, okay, think about the modern day technology, okay, and the trend. I mean, most of us are online right now. We're all online. That's how we got into the Zoom call, okay? But think about this. I'm, I'm in, in, in my home, at my home, doing a call to people all over the world, okay? And so that is the power of this network. Now, so by learning to leverage technology, social media, and the friends that we're able to connect all over the world with today's technology, we were able to reach out and expand our sales force and teach other people on how to get retail customers. And so, and by doing that, we get to, you get to override, leverage our efforts and override the sales from the, all the retail sales and customers that we're generating from this platform. So once we understood that, and it, it just takes that, that part of um, uh, building the business myth away. Okay. Now, so and this is really, truly, once you understand this concept, it's about building a global network and driving a global customer base around the world, okay? And again, again, with today's technology, we can really do that. Uh, I mean, in the comfort of my own home, we're able to reach out to people from all five, all, all different continents, okay? So now, as you go out there, um, this entire presentations really about keeping things simple so you can understand um, the dynamics of what it is that we're trying to do and and also the psychology uh, when you start building your on the marketing arm of it when you start working on learning how to build a sales force so we can try to summarize as much as we can uh, in the next 30 minutes and, and deliver that and so as you go out there and uh, learning to expand your sales network and train these people to go and acquire retail customers, um, there are really four major categories of people that we will encounter, okay? Now, as you go out there and, and you share this uh, amazing product line with other people, well, first thing you get is, you know, obviously our customers, people that are like you, they just, you know, initially they just saw the results on your skin. Uh, again, by the way, in order for us to build a loyal customer base, the product has got to be effective. I mean, it's got to show results. And I think after seven, almost seven years, uh, not quite, but next month, it'll be seven years. I think our results and our volume speaks for itself. Because when you've got a solid product, that's why we're able to uh, uh, create such a movement around the world of beautiful users and, and wonderful users around the world. So first kind of people you're going to encounter are customers, people that fall in love with the product and they want to buy the product. And so they become great loyal customers. Now, the second second type of people you're going to encounter are supporters, what I call supporters. These are people that, you know, they know that you just started your business and they kind of see the results. And, you know, it, it may the business model may not be appealing to them, but just for the sake of it, they go, you know what, I'm going to support you. OK, and I'm going to buy some product from you. I'm going to try it out for myself. So these are the supporters that you encounter. Now, the third types are people like you and me. These are what we call business builders. Besides having a, a rock solid line of products, product that make help make a difference in people's lives. And so 
you say, you know what, besides that, I want to go out and share this, share this passion. And when you go out and share this passion and what you just, your newfound incredible product line, guess what? Then you can learn to build a business. So these are business builders like you and me. Okay. So that's a third category of people that you will encounter. And there's a fourth category of people that are people that, you know, perhaps they kind of join the network, they join the program and, uh, you know, they, they just, they initially, at first they thought they're going to build this, but maybe they have a change of heart, change of mind, whatever that is. It's, that's what makes humanity so interesting. You get, you get to attract all kinds of people. So expect these four different kind of four categories and it, depending on what your gigs are. Okay. Now, if you are the type that just love to sell, Absolutely. You can focus on getting customers yourself. Um, but for someone like me, for example, now we have different kinds of people like this four different categories. There are diff different, different things work for different people. And so there will be those like myself. I said, you know what, with this phenomenal line of product, I wanted to share with other people. And by doing so, um, I want to also spend time in training other people on how to go out there and share this product, product line with other people. And so that's what we call business builders. Um, and where are you going to spend most of your time, depending on what your objectives are? If you would just love to sell the product, then you focus your time in getting customers and, and selling customers, which are, are very important, the foundation of any solid and sustainable business. Um, the, for those of you that are perhaps like me, uh, or like other people that really have a dream they wanted to uh, achieve in, in life. And at the same time, they want to represent a line of product that help make a difference in people's lives. And you know what? You might want to build this business. And so the, I would spend a lot of my time uh, in the business builder. And then, you know, as for customers, we have uh, our corporate customer service that will help support our customers. And obviously, you will touch base with your customers as well. And for those supporters, you know, for perhaps like my mom and dad, they just want to support me in my business and they'd be my user. That's wonderful. Now, so where you spend your time in driving and building your business is important. Uh, if you were to spend your time and try to convince people, the supporters, try to work the business or try to promote this product and get customers and sell retail customers, ain't going to happen because the mindset that it came in this business was to support you. And so, or some of us, you know, they, they feel like, you know, this platform is phenomenal. They wanted to help other people to change their lives. And therefore, they got to build this business. You know, different strokes with different folks. There are other people that just, you know, in the beginning, they got hot. They got excited. The next thing, you know, whatever that might be, they have a change of heart, change of mind, change of weather, whatever that might be. They just can't, don't want to move. What do you do? Let it, let it go. And I think it's important understanding where to spend your time in this Four quadrant. And uh, if you so for those of you again want to build a business, want to build a business, a marketing arm of expanding your retail sales, in other words, to expand your sales volume, your retail sales, your customer base, I will focus on the business builders. Okay. Now, so this is the most it to me, when you go out there, whether you're trying to get a retail customer or whether you are trying to go out there and find other build your sales network, build a sales force of people that retail the product. There are two major ingredients um, for us to build our, our, to achieve our dreams and our goals. And I, I, the first one is, this is, you are tapping into your own community, uh, either through the people you know, through social media or your friends and whatnot. Pardon me for my hair. This is part of the gig, you know, the ocean breeze, okay? So now, uh, so the first ingredient is the cost. Why are you doing this? Um, you know, when people see, initially, when I first got involved in the opportunity, just like it takes hard work and then you're building a business. And so what people bought in the beginning, because, you know, we were all new and using the product. I was excited. And so what people came in, they came in because of my passion and the cost. What made me passionate about what I do every single day is because I'm, there's a cost associated with it. So whatever is your cost, people buy because of your cost and because of your passion. Now, obviously, you know, in order to have a long-term customer, a loyal customer, the product got to have results. And so that speaks for itself in our last seven years, a track record, almost seven years. So the cost is very important. You know, everybody have a different cost, whatever that is, that gets you out of bed every day, going to work every day. That, that is something that you need to dig deep and find, uh, find out for yourself. Um, for me, seven, seven years ago, a little under seven years ago, um, one of my causes was I want to change my life. At the same time, I want to help other people change their lives. 
But in order for me to have to be that passionate, the product has got to work. It's got to be a solid product line, a solid opportunity. And so, and and you know, so when I when I began to encounter the product line, I got very passionate because I saw results on myself and the people around me. Um, and then so I went to work. Okay, so the first thing is cost. Your cost. I don't know what your cost is. It, only you know. Okay. And so um, the second thing to identify uh, with your your people, your tribe, your community is you got to have a common ground. So let's say, for example, if I were to talk to Beth. I got to know uh, what 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 Beth's hot buttons are. I mean, obviously, besides you know she loves beauty and health. Um, there's got to be something that 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 she's attached to, uh, or something that's important to her. So when you find a common ground with people, and that's when you get their ears, get their attention. Uh, a lot of times, people like to run their mouth all day long, but without really connecting with their community, what is it that they're, they're, they're looking for? And I tell you, time after time again, we have, uh, this is, I would, I would call it a new paradigm because the last seven years we were able to attract professionals and business owners, people that have never been involved in this industry before, but we would be able to attract them to coming on board because initially there was a common ground, okay? First, something that, whatever is that that's missing in their lives, or they feel that that's missing in their lives and they see hope through your passion, or they see hope through your why, that they want to pursue something. I remember vividly uh, about six years ago, six and a half years ago, when I, one of my first trips to uh, Indonesia, when I talked to our, our now our double diamond director, uh, Jenny Presidio, I mean, you know, this lady is a housewife and never worked a day in her life, you know, uh, from a well, very well-to-do family. Now, the reason why she got involved, because it was a cost. There was something common between her and I. At least she sees it that way. And she's a housewife, and I was a housewife. You know, uh, you know, she, she knew that my husband's a medical doctor. And she goes, you know what, Kim? If you as a housewife can do this, uh, I'm sure I can do the same thing. I mean, because her kids are all, um, at that time, it's about you know, either gradu graduating from college or, or getting into college. So she was looking for something to do. So having that common cause and common ground is uh, very important when you talk to other people. And too often times I see people when they get involved in a platform like this and all they talk about when they talk to their, their friends and their community, all they talk about is Janess, Janess, Janess. <clears throat> we love Janess. I love Janess. I love Janess product line. <clears throat> but the key thing is to enroll other people um, into, as a, a, into part of your sales force or as a retail customer, they got to know your cause and the common, the common ground, okay? And so these are, if you get anything at all uh, on today's webinar, I, I would recommend you remember these two because that's what carry us. I remember I started this business uh, from my home, in my kitchen, not this house, but another house, okay? From my kitchen, zero. <laughs> nobody, nobody was a J, nobody was a pearl, sapphire, or whatever. But from zero to where we are here today in, in six and a half years, that is quite remarkable. And if you were to ask me secrets, if there's such a thing as a secret, there's two. There's two ingredients I just you see on the screen, um, and which is the cost. What is your why? What is driving you every day? And when you talk to other people, either you're talking to a customer, a retail customer, or you're talking to a prospective uh, a sales force, okay, um, people that will you, you want to engage in business. So, that, you know, these two things are very important. I think I have, I've spent enough time on this topic. If you do not know your cost, I would suggest you sit down, really take, the, take some time and uh, to identify what is it you want uh, in your life. What is it, you know? Look, there are many things that we can do in life. Why, Jeanette? Why through this platform? Uh, only you know, and I do hope that you find time to, uh, you know, and, and you know, to, to really just take time and to dig deep and uh, to connect with yourself and, and find out what is it you want and, uh, and, and go from there. That's very important. Now, uh, so, and I want to spend a little time to go over this, this milestone because I believe this this PowerPoint slide that we put together um, really epitomizes the, the, in its most simple form on your journey from beginning to expanding your experience through this journalist platform, okay? And so this is the business milestone. So phase one of your business is about learning about this business model. Uh, this is quite disruptive compared to perhaps uh, 
uh, some of the things that you had done in the past. And I know that some people might have uh, had a lot of success in your career. Uh, maybe you were a great salesperson. Uh, maybe you're a professional business owner. Doesn't matter what it is, but you are you now engaging in a brand new business platform. And so phase one is we're going to spend time to learn about the business model. And so, and in, not only to learn the information, but willing to, to internalize it, okay, and to uh, digest it. Then once you, you learn about phase one, and, you know, take time to learn. By the way, when I talk about phase one, you know, uh, some people think, hey, you know what, I'm going to come here, I'm going to get rich. You know what? Think again. Okay, this is not a get rich quick thing. It takes work, just like any other business. And, and the toughest work that it takes is really right between your two ears. Uh, because, you know, all of us human beings, we have this little thing called ego, okay? So, you know, I got this. I know how to do this. I would recommend, you know, uh, be coachable, be humble, be open to learning new things, okay? And so um, once you learn new things about the product, how to use them, and then how to share it, and we have a whole global community uh, that you, uh, it's ready, it's free for you to learn and grow from. Uh, unlike a lot of programs, but, you know, in this network here, we have uh, a, a global community of entrepreneurs that uh, have uh, a golden heart. They want to share their experiences and how they got to where they are. And so we have a YouTube channel that's free. You can tap into it. You can take time to learn. And so just like going to college, I and mean, this area is where I went to college. I remember I spent four years uh, getting my undergrad. And so after four years of college, what do we do? We then go find a job. Well, then you know what? Why is it they join a business? They expect, you know what? I come in today and I get it and I'm going to make a lot of money. No, you're gonna, you, you get involved and then you start putting your work into it and you start engaging in a business. So engaging, meaning you got it, you, you, you join a program, then you're going to learn about the stuff, okay? Learn about how the business works, the business model works. If you do not yet have subscribed to our YouTube channel, it's called the U.S. GS official uh, channel, okay? And so in it, there, there's four-step system that you can learn. Step number one is uh, you can send it to your prospective clients uh, or either a customer or a business builder, whatever that might be, which talks about the opportunity, a little bit about the technology of the product. And step two is that for those of you that want to build a business, then on step two, we teach you how to build your marketing arm, okay? It's about how to engage your business. And step three is continue education. And step four is leadership. And so there's a whole different gamut of different range of things that you can learn and grow from. So that's phase one. Now, um, phase two, I mean, then once phase one, then you start to engage in a business platform. Uh, it's, once you're engaging, you learn what's working, what's not working. And interestingly, okay, um, when we engage in a business, remember I have a category of people that um, that that we, we, we category change, put it to as change of mind or, or change of heart. Well, you know what? Sometimes when they learn what's working, that's great. They continue, and when they found out what's not working, instead of really digging deep and finding their cost, they quit. And so, do we have people that quit? Absolutely. Just just like anything else, you think college student quit? You think people in, in the navy and army, military quit? Yeah. I mean, there are people who quit all day long. So uh, in anything. And so just understand. When you're engaging, you learn what's working and, and what's not working, and you're going to refine and reflect the process, okay? And so the next phase is really about creating that, that, creating that experience uh, of you learn what's not working, then you're going to unlearn, and you're going to relearn, okay? Remember, college is a four-year gig. Here, it, it, it takes a little time. I mean, maybe it's a two- to five-year program, okay, depending what your goals are and what your targets are. So... Um, you know, you got to be willing to put forth the effort. But one thing great about this is that unlike college, you know, uh, you work for four years and then you go make money. Here is that, you know, we have something we call you you earn while you learn. OK, it's a process. But at the same time, you're earning, you're learning. And, you know, unfortunately, in our today's society, most people want immediate gratification. I want to make money. I want to make money now. I want to be successful. I want to make I want to make the big bucks today. Well, it ain't going to happen. You're going to work it. We work it hard and we're still working it hard because, you know, I mean, there's a famous quote. This is where much is given, much is expected. And we've been blessed. We've been given much. And that's why we're still paying it forward. Uh, we just came back from a two week, a two weeks trip in Asia doing trainings and empowerment events to help empower other entrepreneurs around the globe. And so that's what the, the empowerment comes in, comes from is that as you start working this, 
You begin to achieve little goals in your life. And when you, when you achieve this goal, so whatever target that you set yourself up for, okay, then you become transformed. Okay, so through learning, then through engaging in a business, you learn what's working, what's not working, then you're going to unlearn and you're going to relearn, okay? And then from there, you begin to achieve things. And, you know, it is, I heard somebody said this uh, when I was traveling uh, about a year ago uh, to, I forgot where it was, another part of the world. And this person said this, and it's so, so well put. And he says, you know what, Kim? In, in this platform, it's like everyone, everybody's getting in line to get to Diamond or get to whatever rank they want to go. Everyone's in line. You know, unfortunately, in life, there are people that want to cut the line. They want a shortcut. They say, you know what? I, I don't want to stand in line. And when I say stand in line, what it means is that stand in line, it's an internal experience. Standing in line to overcome and to unlearn and relearn the things that keep us, keep us from getting to our goal. And this thing called life, you know what? There's ups and downs. And sometimes when things just, just you, you thought they you know what things just getting the way you wanted to go and you know you're getting it, guess what? Life just throws you another lesson. You say, hey, no more, I got it. But you know what? That is life. That's what helps us grow as human beings. That's what makes us strong. I mean, to, to really complete our experience on earth. And so it is really about having the um, courage, the determination to go on this milestone, this, this journey. I went through it. Uh, all of our diamonds went through it. Uh, this is just part of the growing experience as, as human beings, as entrepreneurs. Uh, but the most beautiful part is that through this journey, um, you know, for those of you that want to work it and willing to work it uh, and endure the process, you might, you might enjoy the, re the results, the rewards like many of us have. And so uh, it, it is quite a remarkable experience that we, we all have encountered. So I do want to uh, share this with you, is that whatever it is that your cause about doing this, okay, only you know, um, you've got to first be clear on what you want to accomplish. Second, and this is very important, is that to never ever give up. Uh, you, you look at that bird right there. I don't know if that bird is called a stork or, or what, but you look at it, it almost got the frog <coughs> uh, uh, in the mouth and almost, it's about to swallow him. And look at what the frog is doing. The frog is grabbing this bird's neck with every might he had. I mean, every might. He's just going to keep grabbed it. I and mean, this is about not never giving up when he's already in the mouth or in the peak of the bird in his throat, okay, but he's grabbing it by the neck. And sometimes, you know what, in life, like I said earlier, there are curveballs, there are lessons for us to learn and grow. Um, and, you know, those external environments don't make us. Our true self, the true essence, that power, the inner power within each and every single one of us, it exists in there. And so we can't, we can't, I can't help change what other people's reaction or their thoughts or perception of what is. But what we can control is what's within us, how we react to situations. And so, um, I, and what this business has taught me, uh, it's re are really three R's. Uh, one is to reflect. The last seven years, it really, um, you know, besides building this as a business, besides an entrepreneur, it really taught me, it really taught me to reflect what this whole thing uh, meant to me and uh, what this whole entire journey meant to me. It, it is, um, it's quite an incredible journey as an entrepreneur. The experience that we have building a company from zero to now, you know, become a billion dollar company and beyond. See, this is the key. Building a successful business, you know, getting, hitting a billion dollar is not a one-time mark, but when you got a solid, healthy loyal customer base, guess what? You're going to grow the business it's called sustainability, okay? And so, um, you know, from zero to a billion and beyond, I tell you, if any business school want to study our motto, I tell you, this is the hottest thing you could study because, you know, in, in six, six years, we hit a billion dollar and growing. And, but beyond that, beyond that, we have a solid, rock solid line of products that are making incredible positive impact to people's health and life, okay? I mean, look it, I'm 51 years old, looking great and feeling great, okay? And, uh, but more importantly, be, besides that, 
there is an opportunity uh, for those of you that, you know, those of us that want to change our lives through this platform by, you know, getting customers and, and building the sales force. And so I do hope that um, uh, the three things I've learned, which uh, number one is reflection. Um, you know, it helped me to reflect about my life in the beginnings of our business. Uh, at this point in my career, in my life, it, it's about reflection. Um, that's why I set out here today. And, you know, oftentimes I look out there um, and in the ocean and just reflect on what a journey, what a journey of human spirits, what a journey of, um, you know, I went, I went through all the years of, uh, at least in the beginning years of a struggling entrepreneur uh, to having the blessing where I'm here today. Um, it's an incredible reflection. Uh, it's, it's also a very humbling experience uh, uh, of the last 20 years, somewhat years of entrepreneurship. And the second thing is uh, uh, refinement. I mean, um, refinement of become a better person. Uh, I, I remember, like I said earlier, 20 somewhat years ago when I got into this industry, it was all about money. You know, it's about, hey, you know, become financially independent, uh, traveling the world. And so that was, you know, in the beginning, that's what it was all about. But through this process, this milestone, okay, uh, it helped me to refine, you know, if I may say, I mean, you know, to, to, to tap into the better self, uh, that, that better inner self. And so, uh, and, and last but not least, it's realization. And, uh, you know, I've come to a point in my life where I realized that, uh, one, we're really blessed. Uh, and two, that there's a lot of people that we could help. And, uh, and we are no different. I realize that we are no different than one another. Uh, for those of you that are on the call, I'm no different than you. Now, um, the only difference is I have worked a little harder, maybe, at this point. I have put in a little bit more effort than you may have. And so, but for those two things, it can be changed. And so I hope that you look at all of us uh, not as exceptions, but uh, as examples of what's possible for, for those of you that, that, are, that, that are dreamers, that dare to dream, but better dare to win. And so um, I do hope that the last 30 minutes has been helpful to you. Um, and I know that we have a lot of people from different parts of the globe. Uh, as a matter of fact, I see a lot of people from uh, uh, outside of the United States on the call here, uh, you know, on this call. And I do hope that you find in this call, uh, uh, find a little bit of clarity uh, a little bit of courage, uh, a little bit more of your why, your cause in, in pursuing this. Um, because there's a lot of things that we can do to humanity together. We need all of us to work together. Uh, obviously, through this platform, we're grateful, we're blessed. And I'm very blessed to have all of you in this call. And I'm very fortunate to have Beth to host this call. And I do hope that for those of you, uh, when you want to build a business, uh, just understand something. Building a business, either you yourself go get customers, go get retail customers yourself, or you teach and engage and build a sales force, a marketing arm to go out there and get retail sales. So instead of you get leveraging the efforts of yourself, now you have an opportunity to teach other people to do the same. And so I think by doing that, it helped us kind of take away this thing called we recruiting and all that. I mean, guys, this is a new paradigm. This is a new game. Whatever old perception we had, uh, 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 the things that we look at this platform uh, through a Tinder shade right now, the little Tinder shade, um, you know, because of the sun. But, you know, sometimes to see things in, in, in true color, uh, you got to take off the Tinder shade and see things for what it really, really is. And so by having these kind of training, I hope that it helps you to get a little bit more clarity uh, of what it is and, and, and what it is and how this would do it and understanding something. This all is part of the process. Wherever you are in your business, wherever you are, that's just life. That's just where it is. So understand where you are and where you want to go and never, ever give up. Just like that frog, you know, when life got you tough, you know what, you be tougher, okay? And understanding that it is part of the process and you will soon overcome it. And life lessons are put in front of us for us to learn and grow as a human being, all right? So guys, I really appreciate you guys on the call here uh, this morning, this evening, this afternoon. And uh, I do hope that when we travel the world, I will see you all soon. I know that we have an event coming up in Orlando, Florida in October for our annual conference. And I look forward to meeting many of you and I look forward to many meaningful training as well. So good
good luck and I look forward to seeing all of you again very, very soon. Take good care, guys. If you see something for yourself, get back to the person who shared this video with you. And don't forget to subscribe to the official USGS YouTube channel to receive future videos.